Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube page. Um, today I thought I'd make a video based on skincare and a, like a mini fashion haul and some things I got. So um, here we go. Um, basically, I don't know. basically um, I watched a video on Pixie Brew's Body Talk channel a few weeks ago and it was all about skincare and it really made me think about how like I treat my skin and how sometimes when I'm so tired from coming in on a night out I just scrub my face with wipes and oh, sometimes I have fallen asleep with makeup on at odd times, not full makeup on well, you know sometimes you take it off and you fall asleep you're like oh and your eyeliner's down there when you wake up so um, I felt like this like well from now on I just want to treat my skin with 100% care because your skin can look amazing on the outside with makeup and stuff but un underneath your skin can be actually really shit so it's all about taking care of it, it's like taking care of your body someone could be really like muscly and really like hard but they can really eat like shit like McDonald's and that so I thought I'd just make a video about skincare um, I bought the new, it's not new, well I bought the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Face Base which has shea butter and vitamin C and E in it so it really helps moisturise the skin and keep it looking soft and soap all day and it looks like that, um, I bet it will not focus, so will it get focused? Okay my camera is not focusing so I'm just going to show you it and um, it comes in a little case like that little tub um since i've been using this i find that my foundation sits just as well um it's really moisturizing without feeling too heavy because i used to use the um, creme de la mer moisturizing cream but um i found that it was just so heavy for the daytime because i use a rich liquid already in foundation the cream was quite heavy as well so my face just looked a bit too dewy and a bit too slippery so i didn't really like it because my powder wasn't actually clinging to my face properly so I wasn't really happy with it but since I've been using this it's like it absorbs so fast into the skin and I'm just really happy with this um I've also been using the Hydra Skin Light and um, because it's getting into summer now it really isn't about the heavy moisturizers for me I like it quite light as um, I do like to sort of buff my foundation quite easily and with so much moisturizer when I find that my foundation looks so heavy and because I use a separate SPF I just find it's too much for my skin so I'd rather have just something light on um, I've been using this which is by is it Darthane how you say it or Darthane I don't know how you say it, sorry. Um, this cream's amazing. Um, it comes in a little tub like this. It sort of reminds me of how Creme de la Mer um, gets packaged. It comes in a, like, a really nice blue box. And you get a spatula, so you're not really supposed to dip your hands in it because I know it can contaminate the skin. Well, the cream, so I just use my hand in it and at, at the end of each night, I steam the little spatula in boiling water, so it's germ-free. Um, what else have I been using? Um, I, got, I bought this ages ago, but I've been re recently using it a lot. Um, I bought this when I was on holiday. It's the Bioderma H2O um, rem makeup remover. I've been using this every day now. I've been trying not to use my wipes, and um, it's been going really well. It really takes off everything. Like I'm quite impatient, so when I want to take off my makeup, I feel like oh, it's not working. But you just really need to use a couple of wipes and just have a bit of dabs here and then to really wipe it off and really go into the skin and just remove everything um or i also bought the um bobby brown eye makeup remover which is that one um i have used it it's amazing but i've used a mac one before so i feel that like that's better but when i really want to take off eye makeup more quickly i just use that or um i bought oil control lotion just to take off any eye makeup here and there and um, yeah, it just works amazingly. I really like that. And I also went back to using the Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair because I did use that um, a couple of months ago and I did notice my skin was looking more healthier and glowier. And um, it just felt more tight, really. I know some people might be like, oh, why is he using anti-aging serum? But I find that like, if you prepare your skin now to age and you, you train it well, I think your skin will like age wisely and more carefully instead of it, instead of you using it at 30, where your skin has already had a bit of damage to it you're actually preparing your skin now to age really well so um i really like using that advanced night repair and last time i bought the 30 mil and i just bought the i decided to buy the 50 mil this time because i felt that i'd get more value for my money and it would just last as long and you don't really need that much and um as i talked about pixie Woods video she, um i can't put her name is caroline i follow on instagram anyway but i can't put her name is caroline something but i'll put her name in the description bar um, I've been using the Aveda Botanical Kinetics Exfoliating Toner. Um, I love, love this. Like, after you've washed the face or you've woke up, I just use this with a cotton pad and basically it just takes off any loose makeup that you haven't really cleansed properly or any just 
dirt on the skin and I just find it amazing. I'm actually almost finished now, if you can tell by there. Um, can you see it? I've literally just got that bit left, so um, this is amazing. I need to buy some more because I bought it, but I didn't use it. You know when you just buy something and it's literally sitting in your room and you're like, I'm going to use that soon. I'm going to use it. And um, yeah, I've been using that. It's amazing. I know I keep saying it's amazing, but it actually is amazing because if it was crap, I wouldn't speak about it. Um, and this is not skincare, but for the first time, I've literally bought like MAC palettes. <laughs> I know it's really bad of me, but um, I bought this one and this one because I've got like over like 80 loose eyeshadows. And my friend said to me the other day, Why have you not got a palette? And I thought, like, I never really bought one because I just thought it was long. And I thought, like, Oh, but I bought them and literally they're amazing. You save so much space, so much time. And um, I'm trying to depop my um, eyeshadows, but I've been Googling it and it's just bare long, talking about having a magnet, um, straighteners, putting in the oven, baking paper. Who has that stuff? Who has the time to do that? So um, I'm gonna make my friend do it. I've bought some colors already. That's brown down and that's charcoal brown. I've actually got these two in my eyebrows today. I've got um, charcoal brown at the front and I've got brown down all through there and just a bit of um, dark, no, deep dark brunette um, gel eyeliner. I mean, brow eyeliner on the edges just to um, sharpen the corners with a bit of NC45 Studio Finish Concealer. And in the blush palette, I have Malba. I got that for free off a friend, so it's just in there. And I've got Shadowy, which I've used to contour today. I'll just use it on the edges a bit. So I love Shadowy and I love these palettes. Um, skincare, skincare. Okay, yesterday, I used the Darfane. I'm actually obsessed with Darfane because their skincare is actually banging. Um, I used their purifying aromatic clay mask and when I use clay mask it clay masks, I'm not really a fan of them because I'm not really a fan of how they make your face feel really tight and really dry after. So I'm I try and stay away from them. So after I used this, it was amazing. It glides onto the skin because it's so creamy and it's just so nice on the skin. And um, I had it on for a long time about 15 minutes and it didn't make my face feel really hard or really like oh i need to get it off it just felt really creamy and it was really easy to apply because that's what i hate about clay masks you put them on and when you when you go to wash them off like you look in the mirror and half of it's still on your face so i'm just like okay i'm trying to stay away from them but this is really good um i did notice my skin like felt, looked more radiant and glowy but um yeah i'm gonna try and use this more it does say use it um three times a week but i'll probably use it about once or twice because three times is pushing it and uh, what else is skincare oh yeah um for night creams i've been using um i know i did say I use the creme de la mer night cream at night but i've been using the clinique turnaround overnight radiance moisturizer um this is just a, a, i've heard about it it's a really good night cream that you can put on before you go to bed and when you wake up your skin looks really glowy and healthy and um it just basically gives it the moisture and ingredients your skin needs while sleeping and um this is brilliant i woke up one day after the first night using it and i thought uh, i went my skin looks pretty darn good but um yeah um that it just makes your skin look really glowy and really healthy when you wake up and i feel like it just makes my skin feel really moisturized without feeling too greasy when you wake up because i know sometimes you do sweat when you sleep and i really like this um i would give it like 10 out of 10 because i don't know really i just like it i don't know i thought it would be like i've never had a bad reaction to a cream or i've never had anything break me out except for i know something's gonna break me out because um I don't know, it's really weird. I just have a sense of something's gonna break me out, but I've never, none of these creams have broken me out and I've been using them for two weeks. So I didn't want to do a video on them as soon as I got them because you can buy something and then something can break out the next day. Then you reviewed it and it's just like, but the video's online so people are gonna think it's good so they might buy it and then they might get broken out too. But um, my skin's normal. I do get dry around here, but I get really oily in my T-zone, so I think it's normal. Uh, but it can get dry in the winter and last but not well last but least um, I also bought the moisture infusing serum by Mac um, I've heard good things about this um, I'm not really a massive serum user but I've actually been using a lot of serums and um, I've got this one and it's really good just after you apply the primer I'm sure and it just basically helps the skin prepare for foundation basically and I know my foundation has gone much smoother and it just looks more radiant and dewy, which I like to. I don't think it's essential that you have it, but 
I thought I'd just have it. And again, for um, so my, my last one I'm going to show you, I've been using the Dr. Well for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief. And then um, this stuff does smell a bit funny because I don't really like the smell of mushrooms, but I do like mushrooms. But um, this stuff is amazing. I've been using it, I use it in the, in the daytime, just before I apply foundation, at, um, after I apply my eye cream. And um, I feel like this basically just prepares my skin for moisturizer, then primer. So I feel like before I put my makeup on, I need to prepare it for the foundation, for the concealer, for the powder, for the highlighter. And we, once your skin's prepared, it's not going to get as, I don't know, the foundation is not going to look as patchy after five hours, six hours. Um, the concealer is not going to crack after six hours. So you're preparing it for just that build of a product that's going to go on it. So, yep. And um, I think that's it really, you know, that's it with the skincare. And I just really wanted to focus on the skin because I feel like I've been neglecting my skin a bit by basically using wipes all the time, using not as much things as I should do on it because your skin is like a huge organ. And um, basically I went to, a, if you look to my blog a couple of weeks ago, I went to a Boohoo event and um, basically it was just a PR day and we got to look at some cute clothes and um, basically I got a voucher for them which they gave me which are so nice of Boohoo shout out to Boohoo and um, I ordered some stuff from there and it came today and it's actually amazing I've never shot from Boohoo before but some of my friends have but I didn't know they did some banging menswear I got this snapback from there and it's plain black, just plain because um, I just like wearing plain black snapback caps, no designs in it or no, no this funny gold shit, but um, yeah. And um, I got this amazing floral tea. It's men's by the way, and it, that's it, it looks like that. Um, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was like 15 pounds, and I feel like this is amazing. I'm going to Barcelona in two months, well, a month and a week. So um, this will be amazing on holiday. It's a large, is it? It's a large. I feel like this is amazing. It's super cute, super summery, and I'm just loving Boohoo at the moment. I also got this t-shirt, and I'm not really a fan for a slow go tee, because it's very Top Man. No, there's nothing wrong with Top Man, but it's very Top Man, you know what I mean? So, um, they, they love a slogan t-shirt in there, so I was like, okay. But, um, this is cute. I, I actually would wear this with, like, a rolled up sleeve, some cute shorts, some nice high tops. And uh, it says Dweeb, and then it's just a plain black tee. I thought it was cute, you know. I went with some studded shorts and some leggings underneath, and um, that's from Boohoo. It's men's, and I just find thing that's very, very cute on. So um, I thought I'd just show you guys that. Shout out to Boohoo again for sending me these. And um, last but not least, uh, this is a women's jumper. So um, the small look really small, so I know it would be a bit crap, so I got a large. And it's this electric blue large jumper. Um, it's proper cute. I know it's not really the weather to be getting a jumper, but um, I really wanted an electric blue jumper because um, it would match my Celine. Let me show you my Celine. Okay, everything's falling. It would match my Celine. So, look how cute these would look. So, I've got the electric blue and my Celine with some shorts and a snapback. It would look insane. So, um, yeah, these two would look really cute. Um, I'm thinking for the airport actually, like airport chic, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, those are the clothes I got from Boohoo. And that's it guys, I thought I'd just make a video showing you what I've been up to this, this like month. It's just been focusing on skincare and then I'm going to bring you some more makeup videos and I thought I'd just do this video for you. But thank you for all my new subscribers, everyone that's been, well I've met a few of my subscribers in store at Selfridges where I work and I just want to say thank you guys for approaching me and saying you love my videos and I want to share the love back. Thank you for subscribing to me and um, I just hope you guys have a good day and a good week. So bye.